This is Jewel Kumar Sen, and in this tutorial, you are going to, uh, yeah, definitely, you are going to know that how to find out maximum bending movement in case of simply supported beam, as well as maximum bending stress. All right. So how to find? Okay. Now, if you see the question, what they have said. That is simply supported beam of span length 6 meter and 75 mm diameter carries a UDL of this. Now, let's draw the diagram first. Okay. Now, what is about the diagram that this is a simply supported beam? Okay. Now, it carries the UDL load. The load is how much? 1.5 kN per meter. And the span of this beam is six meter got it now they have said this only and diameter of this beam is 75 mm if i will change in meter 10 to the power minus 3 meter all right so this is this is about the question they have what they have given now for finding out maximum bending movement as we know that where we can get maximum bending movement where we can get maximum bending movement how we can come to know about it okay if i'll draw shear force diagram bending moment diagram then what i have to do i have to do find out to find out r a r b let's say this is a this is b and this is that we have to go on through around i have to invest uh, at least five minutes even i have solved such type of problems and uh, uh, definitely this is uh, i have used uh, some shortcut trick also to solve the sfd shear force diagram bending moment diagram but here if you are talking about only to find out here we are not thinking about diagram we don't need to find out diagram right here we need to find out maximum bending moment so maximum bending moment will i mean will can be achieved or that can be achieved only one place that is when when shear force is zero then maximum bending moment is maximum i mean bending movement is maximum if shear force is not zero then it is depend on other factors okay but if you, we are getting udl and simply supported beam then there is a formula for finding out maximum bending moment what about that formula let me share with you so for finding out maximum bending moment maximum bending moment is equal to w l square by 8 so what is w here that is 1.5 kilo means 10 to the power 3 l how much 6 square by 8 so i have to do calculation that is 1.5 10 to the power 3 multiple 6 square division 8 so how much value basically i am getting 6750 but the answer they ask in kilo so i have to divide by 10 to the power 3 so the answer is getting 6.35 kilo newton meter all right so let's take unit first so w means uh, let, just remove uh, this kilo one newton per meter this is meter square so this is cancelled so what we getting newton meter that means the unit s that is right that means what method we have applied that is perfect for the unit point of view now look at the answer given in the options one two three four so option third is the right answer for this question so now what you got basically from this problem that how to find out maximum bending movement in case of simply supported beam with udl remember that okay now let's come to the next or next uh, problem what they ask they ask find maximum bending stress so for finding out maximum bending stress we have to use the bending equation so what about that that is that is uh, yeah that that equation play most important role remember that so that equation is sigma y y is equal to m by i then again we have but we don't require that part right so this is as they said this is this uh, this uh, beam is having diameter that means this is a circular cross section okay the circular cross section is there why i'm sharing with you because we have to find out i in order to get maximum bending stress that is sigma already we got moment we have to find out also why we know moment what is moment but let me just simplify this sigma we have to find out 
m by i multiple y y is what it is a axis center axis you can say that so this is it y now if diameter they have 75 then y would be 75 by 2 that means 37.5 isn't it 75 divided by 37.5 but in mm remember that in mm right so we got y here m is how much 6.75 10 to the power 3 multiple this is in meter so i have to multiple with 10 to the power 3 because i am taking all values in mm remember that okay now now i so the i moment of inertia for circular cross section is pi by 64 d to the power 4 pi by 64 d is 75 to the power 4 okay now the remaining part is here 37.5 so all units we are getting here we are getting here that is in newton mm square okay i will check unit also just let me solve this part okay 6.75 10 to the power 6 multiple 37.5 multiple 64 division pi multiple 75 to the power 4 okay just a second pi 75 to the power 4 all right so how much value basically we are getting that is that is 162.97 now what is this i mean why i am say uh, telling you that we are getting in newton mm square because here here maximum bending movement is given in newton meter we have already converted into newton millimeter now we got y that is also in millimeter now this is 4 that means millimeter to the power 4 so this one this one get cancelled will get mm to the power 4 that's why i have said there that newton per mm is square that means mega pascal mega pascal means mega newton per meter square because newton meter per square is known as pascal pascal right so now look at the option we have given we have to find out in mega pascal option we have given yeah option 2 is the right answer for this question all right so i hope you understand the concept behind solving this kind of problem well trick is required but formula play most important role and one the most important thing is that basic concept if your basic concept is clear then you can solve the numerical problem quite easily all right so thanks for watching thank you very much hope to see you again in my next video tutorial bye bye